Hello everyone, and welcome to Tales Adventure, or Tales Adventures, I don't know, whatever the heck you want to call it. It has two different names. Tales' house. He's just chilling here. Why is Tales' house in the middle of the forest? I don't know. It doesn't even look like a house. This is one of the few Game Gear games I really played as a kid, though I never got far in this one either. This one is always pretty cool to me, though. Definitely a classic. Also, the bird enemies look cool. Bruh, the whole forest is getting burned down, and it's just playing this goofy, happy music. I like the vibes of this game. Hill's house. Don't think we can do anything here yet, but we can save. Not that that matters, but... Okay, we got bombs. I mean, I don't think I'm, like, ready to play Metroidvania game yet, but hey, I gotta play all the freaking Sonic Game Gear games, so this, this, this is part of it, too. Everything's connected here. I also, I love this song. Bro, Tails' is walk in this game is so goofy and fun. I better not see that... Fox Freak again. Tails, jolly as ever. Wait, I only have one bomb? Weird, I could've... So you just throw one bomb, and then that's it. You get like... Wait, how did I run out of bombs? That doesn't even make sense. I don't know. I think he has only like a certain amount or something. Okay, rings are definitely helpful here. Okay, I better use them wisely. Wonder if there's a speed upgrade later. Okay, it doesn't seem like I can go very high at first. I'm guessing there's also like flight upgrades and crap. I mean, this was before Tails met Sonic, so. Makes sense. There. Oh. I like how this song is in... I like that this song is in the Sonic Symphony. It's a nice representation here. Oh, I can go this way. Oh, that fire doesn't hurt me. Okay, he has infinite bombs. For some reason, somehow I unequipped it. This is the best on a game that I can hear. Other than Triple Trouble. I don't know. I feel like this is better than Triple Trouble, but I I'm not... I don't know, man. I just have bias, in all fairness, because this is the one I played the most. But still. No, wait. Okay. Oh, 
Definitely the most ambitious, anyway. I mean, okay, Trouble Trouble is pretty ambitious, but it's a lot like the classic games. This is, like, a completely new type of game in the Sonic series, and it's pretty good. So, like, I don't know. Okay, we gotta move this. Oh, oh, so rings are also your health, which, okay, yeah, that makes sense. The only thing I would say is that Tails is a little bit slow, but like, I don't really mind that. I'm kinda just chilling with this game. I'm having fun still. After all, this is his first adventure, at least. He's not gonna be as fast as Sonic right away. He's never even met Sonic yet. And no, I don't care about Sega's Recon that they said all the Game Gear games take place after the Genesis games. That doesn't even make any sense. That makes zero sense. Not oh, the wind. I think I, he can grab ledges, so that's kind of neat. Novel feature in a Sonic game. Okay, yeah, I can't run out of bones. Why, why... Why is it like that? Why was it like that earlier? I don't know. Ow. I wanna get that thing. What is that? Damn it. Ow. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, of course. I forgot to mention, of course. Um, Tales Adventure. Um, Master System port by Rebo, Next Volume, Bingazel, Supper, and Freezing Ice Kirby. There you go. Boom. Um, I just, I just, I, I forget to do that. I'm sorry. Okay. It's a pretty good ad adaptation. I gotta say. The graphics are pretty crisp and there's not really any like weird pixel stuff like in the other ports I played. Not that, you know, of course theirs are pretty good. I'm just, you know, this is like the best one I gotta say. Other than Trouble Trouble, I think. The Drift and other ports were alright, but I feel like there was like a lot of random garbage pixels on the screen. So, it took it down a bit. Oh yeah, and for Labyrinth specifically, I'm just gonna play the Game Gear version for that one, because... The, 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 gar the, the stuff on the side of the screen on the... The Master System port of that game that somebody made is just too distracting for me, so... I'm sorry. That's the only one I'll actually play on a Game Gear, on the Game Gear port instead. Hell, I might as well just play that in Sonic Origins. Actually, no, wait, why, why would I want to play it in Sonic Origins? The audio quality is superior in this. On the fusion emulator. Oh my god, this guy 
It's not really placed in a good spot, I gotta say, like... Bruh! Okay. I don't like you. Okay. I mean, I could just drop it on him. Ah! Okay. Bro. I just want my ten rings, man. I'm guessing the, they have armor on, that's why they look different when they get hit. I don't remember how far I got in this game. Oh, what? There's Chaos Emeralds in this? Honestly, I think this is the only Metroidvania type of game I've played, like, for a long time, until I actually played, like, Castlevania Symphony in the Night. I mean, okay, I did play a little bit of Fusion as a kid, but... And a little bit of Super Metroid, but, like, not a ton, so... Yeah, I never really got into Metroidvania. But this is one I like. Because, you know, got yeah, Tails fun. It's scrimblowy. Oh yeah, I've also played Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, which, I mean, yeah, that, that's Metroidvania now, I think. Okay. I don't think I needed to go over here, but I'm just checking around just in case, you know? Is that it? Wow, how big is this level? It's Metroidvania, but it has linear stage progression, so I don't know. Oh crap. Bro, he's got like a Mega Man X vile looking mech right here. Okay. Honestly, I might just have to fight him like this. No. What? Wait. Okay. I don't think there's any way to do it without getting hit, honestly. Ooh, he is kind of a toughie. I mean, you might be able to, but it's really hard. Ah, you little... Okay, we got it. Is that another Chaos Emerald? Oh. Remote Robot. Oh, it's T-Pub. Volcanic Tunnel. Oh, 
Oh, I guess I can just use him. Okay, yeah, I never made it this far as a kid. I only ever played on the first level. How do I use the remote robot? Okay, I'll have to ask my friend. He's played this game. Oh god, there's a mouse. I'm gonna go back to the house. I don't know how to use this robot. I think how it's called regular bomb. Like, is there a cooler bomb that's just not regular? See how to hit him. Oh man, this area looks treacherous as heck. Not that secret. But... No... Okay, you know what, that's fine. Oh my god. Okay. This place is scary. figure out how to use the remote robot eventually. Bruh. Bruh. No. I'll need those rings later, I think. No. No, I am obsessed with perfection here. I will not lose a ring. even a little fire thing. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh god, my audio is glitching out. Okay, hold up. Why? Okay, there. It's normal. It does that sometimes. I thought that was some weird effect of the game. Okay. Well, I gotta go back because... I didn't check what was in that dead end. What if it's a secret? I don't know. Oh wait, hold up, I got pink.
Oh, what? Oh, um, hi. Um, I think I have it equipped. I don't know. I, I saw it on the Tales of House screen. And it was in the menu, but I don't, I don't, how do you equip it? Is there like a button do I press? I don't know. I'm just throwing bombs right now. I pressed, I tried the 1 and 2 button. Start. And those are pretty much the only buttons, so I don't know. Wait. Oh, bruh, that's how you do it? Okay. I knew it was on the... I thought the start button only paused the game, so I wasn't sure. Oh my god, he's so cute! Okay, so what does he do? Can he, like, get hit or something? What is he for? Why, why, why do I need the remote robot? Okay, well, I'm sure I'll figure out how to use him later. I'll figure it out. Ah! Stupid bats. No. Okay. Also, I only ever played the first level as a kid because I never got here. But, it's still cool. I feel like that's a recurring theme with Sonic games. I got to like the second level or the, the third one and then stopped. Yeah. Metroidvanias be like that, I guess. I backtrack a bit, because I knew there was something here. Oh, bro, I got a hammer! Okay, what does the hammer do? Damn it. Bruh, I'm uh, pressing jump, and he's falling. Okay. Let's, let's check it out. Bruh, you just bonk people. I mean... I don't know why it's useless over the frickin' bombs, but like, I can bonk people now. Go to horny jail. You use that hammer when you're dealing with pesky fools. I love Tails' jovial walk. Also, I love the little blip sound it makes. Like, why does it make that sound? It's a hammer. Well, it, it's like silly. Wait, does Tails get more flat? Oh, damn it. I feel like Tails gets some more fly energy when he gets some more range. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, why do I want this stupid hammer? Let's just use bombs. Damn it. Okay, you know what? That isn't reaching, no matter what, so I'm just gonna use Remote Robot. Maybe he'll do something. Go! Do a- commit a crime! He can walk in lava. Okay, so what does he do? Uh, can he attack? Go! Attack my robot! Okay, he can't attack. Bruh, what's the point? Okay, whatever. I thought I could do like a remote attack. That'd be pretty sick. Okay, I guess I just have to drop bomb him. That's the only way. Also, apologies. I'm a little, like, congested right now.
Yeah, that's what I thought. I guess he doesn't have much use right now, but he will soon. I'm tempted to try to kill that guy, but I also don't care. Wow, this is a very... ...labyrinthian area. Oh. Oh, there's my chance. Dang, no rings. Okay, well I guess this is, it's his time to show his stuff. Go... Um... Okay, well, not much he can do here. So, what do I do? Oh wait, I have an idea. There's this little thing right down here, too. Go, go, go. Wait, uh... He can't go that high, though, so what am I gonna do here? Bruh. Wait, I think I have another idea. Maybe uh, he'll go up here, and then... No, he can't go high enough. Damn, that would have been a good idea, though. When when does he get Tails Helicopter Tails? Maybe he can use that to... Oh, he does have Tails Helicopter. Let's go! Okay. I was gonna say, I didn't know. Remote bomb, okay. Bruh, now we're Link Breath of the Wild up in here. Remote bomb. Oh crap. I like that. Bruh, it slides across the ground like Bomberman or something. I don't know. Oh, it's only remote in the fact that I can choose when it detonates, not... Not that it's like Bomberman or anything. Like, I can't... I mean, not that it's like I can like move where it goes. I don't know, it kind of just slides across the ground. So, now what do I do? I got the remote bomb. There's probably something else I need to do here. Oh wait, I think I get it now. What if I just... Aha! Okay. I like the little puzzles we got here. I figured it out. I'm a genius. Okay, the slide is actually really helpful for air bombing. What's the point of using the normal bomb now? I have a remote bomb. That's way better. Maybe the air trajectory, if I throw it in, isn't as high though. Bro, we got the freaking Mario 3 burners over here. Um, can I, like, blow them up? Because I don't see any way to get past. Oh, um... Okay, just go tread lightly. Ah, stupid bats. Okay, I'm gonna be right back, actually.
I am back now. Let's get going. Ah, shoot. Okay. Bruh, shut up. Okay. Okay. Can't go that way. Okay, actually, I can see the normal bomb having an advantage, because I keep forgetting to hit the detonate button. So, I guess that's a downside. Oh my god, ugh. Okay, this, this bubble design is a little annoying sometimes. And then again, skill issue or something, I don't, I don't know, man. Just do some ass uh, short hops around here. Okay. Bro, the lag is insane. What the hell is the hammer good for? Oh no, it's got the Sonic Triple Trouble problem where the UI is overlaying the freaking stuff in the game. Oh, the stuff? Yeah, I don't know. The hammer seems kind of useless. Okay. I guess that's also a Metroid Mania type thing. Some weapons are gonna be better than others, and some of it's gonna be useless. Can't all be winners after all. I, I don't know. I've only played like two of them. Bruh. Damn bat. Bro. Bro. Oh. Oh, okay. You gotta be quick. Quick minded here. Damn it. Okay. I can hit him before he swoops out, I think. So there's gotta be a way to just fly around, right? I don't know, I'm going crazy. Yeah. Damn it. No. I must keep my one ring, no matter what. You are not taking my money, bro. There. That's how it's done. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the mice guys look kind of creepy, honestly. Why do they look like that? Are they robots? Wait, they're dropping the bombs too. Ugh. Gah! Okay. I'm switching to regular bombs. Screw this. It's faster. Bruh, this dumb mice. Our mouse, sorry. Why am I using plural here? Yeah, true. By the way, 
I heard that apparently Sega retconned the Game Gear games so that they take place after the Genesis games in the timeline. And that that seems weird. Why why would that even be a thing? I don't know. They shouldn't take place after the Genesis games. That's stupid. Yeah, this adventure is supposed to take place before Tails even meets Sonic, bruh. This is like his first adventure. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Tails Guide Patrol is supposed to happen while Sonic's off on some other adventure or something. I like how Sonic Trouble Trouble is called Sonic and Tails 2 in Japan, and they completely downplay the fact that Tails is in the game, in the American version, because he's not in the title, he's not even on the box. I mean, I get it, they gotta show, like, Knuckles and Robotnik and Knack there, but, like, you want new Tails Metroidvania? You should just play Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal. That's a Metroidvania game. Kind of. I hear it's a decent game. Probably not like the best game or anything, but like... Way better than the Wii U game. And I hear Sonic Boom 2 is better. I think. But I don't actually know. And if you like the Sonic Boom show, it's probably fun for that too. I mean, it's Metroidvania. -y. That's kind of neat for a Sonic game in modern history. Yeah. And you're probably nice as good. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna fight to keep these rings anymore. It's too annoying. Plus, I got another one. Bro, oh, this damn bat is trying to take all of my funds. Wow, this is a big level. There we go. Oh, I think I'm gonna need T-Pup's help for this. And now he's called Remote Rob, 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 Robot, um, Remote Robot in this game, but, no, I don't care. He's T-Pup in my heart. Oh, um, okay, what am I supposed to do now? Wait, oh wait, I know what to do. Easy enough. Boom! Nice, I beat it. I wonder how many levels there are. Looks like there's five right now. Or six, or seven. Wow, it's already been 40 minutes and I'm on level three. That's like... Not too long, honestly. Yo, I like this song. I like how much big and ambitious this game is compared to the other ones, like... I don't know, I'm still partial to, partial to the first level scene because it sounds, like, pretty epic. Like, it, you, know, like you know crap is real when it's all like... Duh. Or whatever. That's how the song goes. Freaking Looney Tunes characters over here. By the way, I looked it up. Apparently, Tales Sky Patrol has a pretty interesting development history. 
To no surprise to anybody, it was not a Sonic game originally, and it was made for a system um, that was gonna come out, but got cancelled, and they put too much work into the game, so they wanted to put it on the game here, and then they asked Sega if they could put Sonic characters into it, and then they were like, sure. So they redesigned the levels to look more Sonic-y, and, um, yeah. That, and the fact that, you know, Pete from Mickey Mouse is in, um, one of the, like, early, you know, footage of the game, and the fact that, uh, the wolf kind of looks like Big Bad Wolf, and Witch Cart kind of looks like Miserable from, uh, what, what do you call it, uh, Mickey, uh, in the, what, what is that game called? Castle of Illusion. Yeah. Miserable from that game, and yeah, it's a freaking Mickey Mouse game. Well, with Sonic. It was supposed to be, a uh, the education system or something, but the game wasn't an educational game. So, I don't know. What, I, what I'm wondering is, what would the projectile be in a Mickey Mouse based game? Like, wait, how do I get that? Maybe I need, like, um, a different kind of weapon? Like, he's not gonna use the rings in the Mickey game. Nope, hammer doesn't work. Okay, I'm guessing I need a better weapon later to open that up. I'm sad. Damn, what? Maybe you get, like, stronger bombs later or something. I'm gonna come back here later, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't need to do it to beat the game. Oh, sad. You should put, try it again sometime. Yeah, none of this works. Tales with grab grabbing ledges before- Bruh, this is just freaking Sonic Adventure Windy Valley over here. Tales with grabbing ledges before it's cool. AKA Sonic Lost World, of course. Bruh. I hate losing my ring. Okay, but did you beat Sonic Blast? the best game ever in history. I don't think you did, bro. You haven't lived unless you beat Sonic Blast. Can't wait to play Sonic Blast Sweep. Helmet. Oh, okay, I like that. I am so excited to play Sonic Blast. Wait, is the helmet not something I equip, or is it... Uh, where is helmet? Where is helmet? Can I not use it because I have only four, because I have four items at a time or something? I don't know. Confusion. So, wait, but I got, I got, that, that, no, okay, but what do I do now, do I, how do I leave the level, I, I don't know, you gotta be kidding me, I gotta backtrack here to get the freaking helmet, bruh, well, Bruh. Okay, that's kind of stupid. At least it wasn't that part in the level. This isn't... What is this? Paper Mario Twilight Trail or something? Also, by the way, Twilight Trail only takes like two minutes to backtrack around. Like, I don't get the big deal about Twilight Trail. Like, I get it, it's a little bit annoying going back and forth, but if anything, 
maybe it just would have been better if it was a more interesting area rather than just like a straight path. Like, you like make it more like other areas in the game. I don't know. Like a big, a bigger field, and then, and then, and then it's more forgettable. I don't know. Have you played Thousand Year Door? It's pink. Okay, well, I'm getting rid of this shitty hammer, that's for sure. Bruh, well, now's your chance now. It's gonna be epic, man. You know, actually, I should use this as an opportunity to rearrange my weapon slots here. Because, like... I'm pro- you know, the remote bomb's my second most used weapon here, so... How- can I not move them around? Can I not set what's in the slot here? Damn. Well, I guess not. Bruh, you own? That was in your door, but you haven't played all the way through. What the heck, man? Bruh. It's one of the best Mario games. Bro. Bro. You like that meme. Um, with Peter Griffin. I did not care for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. It insists upon itself. Bruh. But it's Paper Mario. Paper Mario is the best RPG. No, actually that's false, but but I'm just saying, man. Maybe like how you're not, you weren't the biggest anime guy. You should play more RPGs, bro. Like, 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 bro, you 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 watch a Dragon Ball now. You, you're in the big leagues, kid. By the way, I recommend One Piece Netflix. It's actually really good. I watched it. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I was surprised. It's only eight episodes. Each are like an hour long, and um, it adapts a good amount of the early One Piece arc. So if you want a more streamlined way to like get into one piece like at the start then it's a good way to get invested in the series it's like accurate enough to the source material while also kind of like doing its own thing okay that's fair do you have the nintendo 64 expansion pack um on the switch i mean if you don't, I could get- uh, if you want, you could just join my online plan, but that's up to you. Because I have the expansion pass on my Switch. Family plan. We have, like, Mario Party and stuff. I'd be more than happy to have you on the plan, bro. Oh, Bob's. Okay. I mean, that would be pretty epic. You're you're the squad. Nice. And y'all could play like Mario Party with me or something on a stream. If you want, anyway. Oh, I didn't know there was a little path down there. Damn. Was I supposed to go that way? Wait, is this an exit to the level? Let me try something. Oh, no, it's not an exit, but... Yeah, I played Mario Party 2. It was really fun. Never really played much of it as a kid, but I did have it on the Wii Virtual Console, so I played at least, like, two of the boards. And Mario Party 3 I had, and Mario Party 1 I had. I didn't play a ton of them, but I did play a little bit of them. They were fun, I just, you know, couldn't be with more interested in playing the GameCube parties over and over. Now I'm interested in seeing what all the series has to offer.
Yeah, Mario Party 2 was the only one on the virtual console, but I did own the physical cartridges for 1 and 3. 2 was the one that I happened to not have a cartridge of. The most I played out of Mario Party 1 was like Minigame Island and a couple of the boards. I did play that one quite a bit. More than Mario Party 3, for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, my brother had one as a kid. So, I got to play his, too. I spent a good amount of time on, like, different games, like Smash 64, Donkey Kong 64. Wow, really? You didn't have a Nintendo... Bruh! You didn't have a Nintendo 64? What the heck? Not sure if I should go up here, or on that path to the right, but I guess that's what revisiting the levels is for. Bruh, man had a straight upgrade. Oh, so did you play the Super Nintendo, or did you just have NES? I mean, I guess you're not missing, like, a ton from the Super Nintendo, because, I mean... You did have the Game Boy Advance, which, like, had a lot of Super Nintendo games, so, like... You wanted to play Donkey Kong Country and, like, Yoshi and Mario World, and you had options. Uh... Uh... Oh, Super Return of the Jedi? That's cool. At my grandma's house, uh, there was a Genesis because I think my brother just, like, left it there or something? I don't know. That would be always be the thing, the system I played at my grandma's, other than the DS. They had the Genesis, and that's when I played, like, a ton of the Sonic games. Oh, wow. The helmet is really cute, actually. I didn't think it was like this. I thought I would just have it on. Okay, how, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, wait, I get it now. Wait for him. And then equip, like, the bomb or something, right? Ow. Okay, no. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's fair. You know what? I actually like, um, Game Boy Advance Donkey Kong Country 3 a lot, but... The other ones, I didn't have as a kid, and they suck, so... I played DKC1 GBA and Emulator once. It is not pretty. But as a kid, you don't really care, probably, so. Bruh, how the hell am I supposed to get this guy? Some shitty enemy placement right there. What are they even throwing? It looks like baseball or something. Bruh, I just wanted to hit that guy. There. Wow. The level design is pretty elaborate here. I wonder why they chose a really white, bright background here. I don't really get it, but, like, I mean, it works, I guess. Bro, this guy sucks. enemy placement on this level. It's cringy. Okay, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna go to the end.
Wish they made this into like a side series, like Warrior Land or something. It's kinda giving me those vibes for some reason. Ah, there's more down there. But it was on the Game Gear, so it's ill-fated. I mean, does anybody really care that much about the Game Gear other than the Sonic games? I've never heard anyone talk about any non-Sonic games, bro, on this system. I feel like the Sonic stuff's the only thing people talk about, but I mean, I'm sure there's more stuff out there. Don't get me wrong, it's just... It's either Sonic games or ports, as far as I can tell. Of games from the console. And like, it's a powerful console too, so I'm like, I'm sure I could do some pretty cool stuff. But just, for some reason, they just chose to make ports and that's it. Why not just show what the console can do by making some cool original games? I don't know how to get that either. The same, man. A, a Wario Land styled Rouge game would go hard. I mean, yeah, I know you could do that with Knuckles too, but like. I don't know. Rouge is epic. Oh, there we go. Super Punch? Okay. Alright, I can't use it because I have a bunch of crap on me right now. Yeah! Okay, well, it's probably not that useful at the moment anyway. Well, that was kind of cool. My question, do I want to go into this level, like, do I need to get rid of T-Pup, or should I get rid of one of the bombs? I feel like having both bombs is probably redundant, even though, like, if I want to be strateg strategical here, I should probably get rid of the regular bomb, because, well, you know, I use both. I can do without the regular bomb and still use the remote one, because, because, hey, what if the level needs all three of these tools, and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it's gonna throw at me. So, I'm gonna go back here and take that alternate- bro, that punch is useless. What am I gonna do with this? Punch the crap out? Okay, actually, that was kinda cool. Oh, so what you're saying is I should go back and get rid of this useless punch. I mean, I just wanted to try it out, see if it might be useful for something, but you know what? No, that's a good buy. That's a good idea. That's that's probably not a good idea. I'm gonna go back. Damn, this game only has 424 followers on Twitch, bro. Yeah, we are just gonna deny. Wait, what the hell? When 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 did I have the spin dash? Wait, I have a spin dash? I mean, I probably won't use it that much, but I didn't know that was in this game. Well, what do you wait, what? I gotta go back here. Wait, wait, wait. Was I reading that right? Yeah, spin dash. Oh, I don't have that yet. Uh, I, I just hate how limited the item slots are. Because I would definitely use more stuff. What's Doc do, I wonder? That's probably for the Sea Fox or something when you get that. 
Okay, we're going back to uh, Pauly Mount Mountain One. Yep. He. He has no style. He has no grace. Do, 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 this Kong has a funny face. He can handstand when he needs to and stretch his arms out just for you. What other games did I have on the Nintendo 64? I don't know. Um, I can only really think of those couple games I had, honestly. Oh yeah, I had uh, Diddy Kong Racing. I wasn't really good at it, but it's a fun game. I like the music and the characters and the colors. I was just was not good at it. Um, we had Star Fox on Virtual Console on Wii. On the Wii. Well, he might have had the Star Fox at one point, but, like, traded it or something. Or, like, only rented it. I don't know. Okay, but what if you can only open that wall with the punch, bro? You don't know that. You don't know that. Oh yeah, we did have more... Oh wait. It's getting a little trickier here. As for Star Fox, I played like all the games in the series. Except for Assault. Because we didn't we just didn't have that one. I know not everyone likes the on land combat, but I'm sure it's fine enough. I mean, it's a good way to mix up the game. I think that sounds pretty cool. Although I don't know if you knew, but there was originally supposed to be an arcade version of the game. Which sounds interesting. I'm guessing it would have been more about the, um... The R-Wing combat than the on-ground combat, but I don't know. LSSQ did a lost media about a video about it a long time ago. Oh, what do we got here? Super glove. Okay, now we're getting a little crazy. go back. You mean Sonic Rush? No, I'm just, I'm just being silly. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. You know, with their focus on other dimension stuff, I'm surprised, like, they didn't think Blaze... They didn't put Blaze in, uh, Sonic Prime yet. I'm guessing it'll be, I mean, to be fair, it's dealing with, like, a separate dimension created by uh, the 
chaos, the paradox prism, and not like actual new, actual existing separate dimensions, but it would still be cool. Like for its prime season two, if it dealt with like the Sonic multiverse and like different universes in Sonic's world that are not from the prism, that would be cool. I feel like that would be a good next step for where the series should go, and like maybe they could have like the IDW and the game universe on it, like meet up or something. I don't, I don't know. And like, and maybe other other Sonics if they wanted to go even bolder. Like they could have Boom Sonic. Um, and I, I, I I'm, I'm, they probably wouldn't do it, but I'm just saying if they had D, the D cartoon Sonics or like Archie Sonic and like X Sonic, that would be insane. Imagine the hype, bro. Yeah, that'd be peak fiction right there. Why is that there? Why is that there? Wait, wait. Nope, I don't, I don't understand. Oh, I got it. Damn, all that and there's nothing here? Why is there a dead end? Bruh. Wait. The rings respawn. That's weird, but I can only carry 30 at a time right now. Or maybe in total, I don't know. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Bruh, this freaking guy! Oh, whoa, whoa, is that a boss? I think that's Speedy. Oh, crap. Bro, Tails is space. He, he is ready for battle, bro. How do I hit this guy? He's too fast. Oh. So I didn't need to get hit then. Oh, does Kels just have infinite flight in this room or something? That's kind of OP. Damn it.
crap. Okay, easy enough. True, it's Charles' rage boost. He's like Gohan. Gohan max power with rage boost. Gets like times 50 power. Ah! Okay, this is- this part's kinda cool. I like how he just like swoops in and he's like, hey! Bruh. No. Oh my god, this part is so long. Can you, like, buy stuff with the rings? Why, why, what are they good for other than health? Nothing? I mean, I was imagining with such an, uh, you know, a game with such an item, a focus on items, you could buy stuff, but, like, no. I guess not. Look at him, he's a little scrumply. Oh, he just gives you something? What the heck? He just dropped a Chaos Emerald. It's like he wants me to win or something. Oh, what? What is this? Wait, what the hell? What happened to T-Pup? Oh. Oh, okay. Hey. Bro, he can turn into a submarine? Bruh. So, you telling me in frickin... In, uh, what's gonna call it? Sonic Triple Trouble. Tails is just frickin... That's T-Pop the whole time. Oh my god, I don't want to use the frickin... Uh, what should I call it right now? No, how do I get out of it? Ah! Isn't there more levels I can do that aren't the Sea Fox right now? Oh. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna check. Got the forest. I did that. Tunnel. Oh. No, there's not. Okay. I was just checking. I wanted to be sure of what I was doing. Go. Okay. Oh wow, it is way cooler than it was in Triple Triple too. How do I turn around? Oh, you hit B. Wow, that's sick. Okay. This is way better shoot 'em up than frickin' Tail Sky Patrol, man. Mind you, I didn't hate that game. It was fun. I was just really hard for what it was. Like, feels like a game for little kids. Why is it so hard? Okay.
I'm really focused right now, honestly. I like that the Battle Bird Brigade is an Archie comic. Or Archie Sonic. It's really cool. Why does it have a drill on the front if it's just a shooting gun anyway? My question is, does he pop something in Tails made, or is it, did he just randomly find it in the middle of the forest? Why did he have it in the middle of the forest if it was his device? Did the Battle Bird Brigade steal it from him? I don't know. I don't know the logic here. Yeah. Well, why was it in the middle of nowhere? Why did he lose all his stuff? I'm guessing Battle Kukuku Empire. Or Battle Cuckoo Empire stole it. Yeah, he probably did build T Pop because, like, that wouldn't make any sense otherwise. He just happened to find a random robot in the middle of the forest? Yeah. Head Cannon, they stole it. That's the only thing that makes sense, so. Yeah. True. My Sky Patrol stream, uh, sorry, that uh, stream is really crazy, so. That one was really fun, too. Also, I was supposed to play Sonic Drift 2 before uh, both of those games, but I forgot, honestly, and I was just excited to play Sky Patrol. So, you can't really blame me. Wait, which way am I supposed to freaking go? There's two paths. Is this another one of those crossroads again, where I have to go to the level twice? Oh no, this one exits the level. This one goes this way. It'd probably be easier to lump in Sonic Trick 2 with like, um... Sonic Labyrinth and Sonic Blast anyway. And also, I feel like that's just gonna be another 30 minute stream, like, um... Sonic Drift 1 was, so. I wonder what the people playing Sonic Drift 2 were thinking back then, like. They just got Sonic Drift 2 and they were like, Hey, where the hell is Sonic Drift 1? Because, it, it, I mean, they still called it Sonic Drift 2. They didn't pull a Final Fantasy or anything. They just released the second one, and not the first one. It must have been really weird. People are like, where is the other game? I'm gonna be right back real quick.
Hey yo, I'm back. Oh, I didn't even pause it. Oh, hey, I have a bigger ring count now. Don't know if I got that from an item or something or what. Oh wait, you know what? I think it's because of the chaos emeralds. Maybe those increase your count. Bro, we got freaking air troopers here. That's cool. Oh, lake crystal. Okay, we're in the lake now. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. That would make sense. That increases your flight, too. Because I noticed it got, it got progressively bigger. Bit. Sorry. Progressively bigger when I progressed further, but I wasn't sure why. But I was assuming at first it had to do with how many rings you had, but I think I also got one Chaos Emerald at one point, so that also increased it. Or that that might have been what increased it instead. Oh my god, those freaking lobs do a lot of ring damage. This level kind of sucks, bruh. Wonder when I'm gonna get upgrades for the Sea Fox. I mean, the, the basic pea shooter does good enough, just... Yeah. They definitely are, but I want more rings, damn it. I want all of the rings! I don't want to lose health. I'm stubborn like that. I use save states if I get taken an ounce of damage. I don't like it. What if I need that health later, man? Wait, I'm stuck. So, oh wait, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Oh wait, I was gonna say jump off the log, but no, that would make too much sense. Okay, um, I don't think you could go further in this level right now. I don't, I don't know. What am I supposed to do, bruh? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna leave. Hmm. Oh, no, I haven't. Is there something else in the first level? Because I didn't really see anything there. But, I mean, there might be. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna go check. No! Don't want to do a stupid submarine. Okay. I should just be able to select that from the map. I don't need to have to equip this stupid submarine every time, and then... I don't know. That's kind of annoying. But it's a Game Gear game, so I'm sure they were limited, kind of. Okay, well, I'm going back to the forest, I suppose. It sounds like a song from another game. I'm thinking of. I feel like maybe I'm thinking of like Gunstar Heroes. I don't know. It's a song just like that. It's like na 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 from a game. But I'm I just don't can't think of what game I'm thinking of right now. I've heard that melon that song that that like little you know. I've heard something that sounds a lot like that before. Oh crap, I can just fly over everything now. Tails is pissed off, bro. Okay, it is cool how he can just go back and like... Skip over part of the level.
By the way, I don't know if I skipped over something by accident, but I'm just going ahead because I feel like it'll benefit me more than... Like, going in earlier parts of the level, skimming around to find secrets. Oh, yeah, maybe I can get that thing now that I have T-Pop. I don't know. would benefit from fast travel. But hey, it's cool to come back to the places I've already been to find secrets and stuff. It's just I have to remember where the secrets are. Speed boots? I was wondering if Tails could go faster later. Although I don't think that'll be useful in a later level or anything. Particularly. I mean, it might be, but... Also, I'm gonna have to use up a slot for that. I don't think that's worth it, even if it's speed boots. Oh, there's another place I can use Keep Up. Go Cheap Up! Bro, he can walk on spikes. I like how all of these are just keep up secrets. Radio? What the hell does that do? I don't know, man. I'll figure it out later. I'll have to play around with the items when I get the chance. Yeah, I figured it was just another useless item. Getting into the swing of this game more. Although, that... That enemy placement is still kind of annoying. I will say. That's good. I'm glad it got even better than it... Than when I played it. That's good. True. Yeah. I'm sure Metroid gets better as I keep going. I just, I never got too far into those games, so that's all. Symphony of the Night but it definitely picked up as I got further. That game felt pretty sick, honestly. Definitely want to play more of the Vania sometime, because I do have the Advanced Collection. I just gotta get around her advanced collection. Like, I wanted to stream it. I do have it. I just, you know, just like Klonoa and Pac-Man Repack. I just, you know, don't have a good time right now. Because there's so many other games I have to play first. Like Mario, and Mario, and Mario. I think those are the only items I can get right now. Ah. Uh. Okay, one thing I don't like about this game, I don't know what the heck I'm doing right now. Okay, well I guess I don't need the helmet, that's not that helpful. What the hell does this super glove do? I, I don't know. Let's just play around with some stuff. Oh, yo. Bro, he's smoothing.
Probably another useless item. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Going back. Um, where is it? Bruh. So, like, the Mega Man Super Arm? I don't know. Bruh. At the beginning... Uh, probably in those areas I skipped. On purpose. How's this forest even still around? Bro, it's on fire. It's been on fire this whole time. How is Kells even alive? He's running through a burning forest with a ton of smoke. Like, he's not sick? I don't know, man. The logic here is insane. Okay, I'll go to the forest. I'm gonna have to listen to the Gunstar Hero soundtrack later. To look for the song I was thinking of. I'm guessing it's that game. I'm pretty sure. Although, I don't really know, because the only song I really remember from that game is like... You know, the first level theme. I actually, you probably haven't even played that game, so you don't know what I'm talking about. But I, I don't know, man. Gunstar Heroes is the GOAT. I don't hear a lot of people talk about it, but it's a good game. And, like, games like Cuphead remind me a lot of... I mean, Cuphead reminds me a lot of that game, too. At least with the weapon switching and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good game. Pretty sure it's on the second mini, so you could play it on there. I don't see the item that you're speaking of, sir. Even after I combed over the area again and looked around. I don't know. Hmm, I'll look it up. Rock? Oh. The one I was pushing, right. Okay. Good thing you remember this somehow. I certainly wouldn't. Oh, duh. I didn't see the stuff on the ground. I probably could have gotten that early on, honestly. Okay, now what? I can't go through here. Maybe I need the remote bomb? No. Ah, darn. Well, that's okay. I'll have to get something else later to get that napalm bomb. Maybe the name pom pom is how you get that one item in level two or whatever. Okay, but how do I get the sea fox over that one river? That's my question. Because right now I'm just kind of stuck and I don't know where to go, and I probably need more items from late from earlier levels or something. But that's kind of annoying. It's like I'm clueless here. I don't know where I'm going, man. Am I even gonna be able to beat this game? I was having fun with it, bro. I don't want to look up a guide. That's not fun. Bro. Damn. Okay. What does the radio do? Is that useful for literally any... Getting anything? Or is that just a random item that's not good? Oh, God. I hate Volcano Tunnel. Although, I have the bomb now. I 
add the remote bomb, so it's a lot easier. I know where the items I'm missing are. I'm guessing you use the remote bomb to get them, but I don't know. Oh, damn it. I only went this way. I forgot. Now I see why you haven't beaten this game. It's kind of tricky. You got stuck on it, man. Well, I'm glad I have the wing, the plate upgrade, because that's really cool. Wait, what am I missing here? I already have the remote bomb. So did I just miss something I could have gotten on my first playthrough here? Cause... That's not fun. I don't know. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, man. That's fair. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh my god, that dumbass bad. No. Also, the music here is annoying. True. True, jokes and song got kind of annoying after a while. I like that level. No 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 
I think that's how it went. played Mario on the Ouija, though. Well, I don't know where to go. I'm out of ideas. Uh, okay, I'll look up a guide. I'm sad, though. Like wasting time looking up guides on stream. It just wastes time, man. Okay. Wait a minute, the level's called Crystal Lake. It's kind of like in the one horror movie, guys. submarine level, but I thought I went everywhere in that level already. Oh. Wait, I have new weapons? I didn't even know. Wait, it says with the mine and anti-air missile. Do I have that? I don't know. I don't remember getting any items in that level. No, I don't have an anti-air missile or mine. The heck? I don't know, man. This guy just can be a thing. Oh wait, this game has passwords. I could just skip ahead if I'm stuck. Cavern Island. This cavern is a bit tricky. First of all, go right until you reach a large pool. I don't have Cavern Island. How do you get there? Ugh. Damn, this this sucks. Okay. I'm I'm getting impatient, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't go to Cavern Island, right? Maybe it's another thing? I, I don't know. Yeah, that might be a thing. Yeah, I probably just missed something. I'm just annoyed. Lake Crystal and Lake Rocky right now, but I'm guessing there's a way to get to that cave. It says, this lake is a pretty big one with several ways to go. All ways are, however, not open for you yet. Stone blocks are blocking ways up and down. That sounds accurate so far. There was one way up which you go to reach the beginning of Lake Crystal. 
the lake on the island. There's not very much you can do there yet. So for now, just getting through the zone to the right. Um, finding something is easy. You will finally reach Cavern Island. So I guess I gotta go right. Oh, I have 40 rings again. It didn't even matter. Okay, I'll trudge mindlessly through this level until I find where to go. Maybe it just went the wrong way. I mean, I unlocked Cavern Island, and that was cool, but... I went the wrong... I went the wrong way, so... It's not good. I'm sure I can get through this level fast, at least. Maybe this is where I have to go. Oh, yeah, this is new. I didn't think there was more to the level than I already explored, so I was just kind of confused. Oh, they did say go right. So I'll keep going right. Oh. Okay. Here we go. I did it. Me when I go to Cavern Island, but it's just the same as that other level. <laughs> the Song of Nightmares. You know what, maybe you were thinking of this level. I don't know. Because it's the exact same level. But not, actually. It has water. That's cool. Yeah, Volcano Tunnel Act 2. Cringe. I'm guessing later levels in the game are like... Um, I was gonna say, I already have all the weapons I need, so I, I didn't think there's anything else for me to go there, but it's okay. I don't blame you for thinking it was the same level, because, I mean, it's the same thing, but it has water, and not lava. I don't blame you. You haven't played the game in a while after all. Oh my god, stupid mouse. I was supposed to go this way. Oh wait, there's like two billion tops here. I don't like this. Oh wait, this one goes to the beginning. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay. You know what? I said this game gave me a Wario Land vibes, kind of. This reminds me of a... Uh, whatchamacallit. There's a level in Wario Land 4, where you go through tunnels just like this. In the water. And there's like a bunch of different paths. 
It's either Warrior Land 4 or Warrior Land Shake It. Or maybe in there's something like that in both games. I don't know. Damn, I can't get that item unless I go a certain way, I think. Oh yeah, have you played those games? Warrior Land games are peak, bro. If not, recommend, for sure. And also WarioWare. Any Wario game, basically. Other than Master of Disguise. I don't know, I heard that game was bad, but... Well, maybe not bad, but, like, weird, I don't know. I don't know. Master of Disguise is probably okay, but... Damn, I don't know where I'm going. This is so annoying. Oh, okay. Damn, bruh. Missing out on peak here. The other games are even better than the first one. Um, well, Wario Land 4 is on GBA Online, I think. Pretty sure? I don't remember. And, um... Wario Land 3 is on GB Game Boy Online. Oh yeah, wait, you don't have the expansion. But you could play Wario Land 3. That's a good one. Where am I the hell am I even supposed to go? It's a dead end. Floras of puddles. I don't know. Good question. I'm like stuck right now. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah, I was gonna say, that looks bombable. What if I go this way? I can't. How? I know what to do. See, normally I would just jump on that thing, but the earlier level taught me you can just push these things, because you needed to do that to get past. But wait. Oh, that's the thing I need later. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm happy about that. Um, problem. Am I stuck down here? Damn. Why can't Tails swim, like in Sonic 3, in any of these Game Gear games? He couldn't in Sonic Chaos or Trouble Trouble, and he can't in this game either. So how am I supposed to get out of here now? Bro, am I stuck? Did the game softlock me? Actually, I have an idea, but I don't know if it'll work. Oh wait, no. Bruh, I'm not stuck. I'm stupid. You just bomb the wall, right? No. Okay. Okay, I'll figure it out. Um, I mean, I could probably just fly out of here, right? I'm guessing that, um, I- Oh wait, you know what? The spring probably respawns in the right spot. Yeah. There we go. We got it. Ugh. Hate the verticality ness sometimes. No!
This Master System version of the game, I'm sure, is a lot cooler than the Game Gear version. But again, that's not to discredit the Game Gear game, of course. It's just, it's neat playing with a big screen. And I'm glad it was so easy to do it since, you know, they're, they're basically the same system. And it's doing what the people want here. Oh wait, I think this is the way I already went. Or not, I, where am I? Oh wait, this is earlier in the level. Okay, where where does this go? Oh wait, no, this is just a backtrack area. I thought I could go up. Oh, that's cool. Like, oh, he looks under the water. Cool effect they got going there. I feel like I'd be screwed out of this item if I didn't get it right. Oh, that's the napalm bomb I need. At least they were easy to get. I mean, I don't have to use a guide to find them, so... Yeah, that's what I need. That's the exit, I think. Or not. Okay, where does this way go? Oh, that's just to backtrack if I need to, for whatever reason. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that thing. And I have a mine. Bro, that guy looks like Grounder. Hey, there, Sonic. Huh. I, I can't really do Grounder's voice. I can kind of do Scratches, though.
Bro, why is he so close? What if I just went around? There's not really much space here. And then again, this boss fight was probably made for the Game Gear screen in mind, so there's more level burgers here than there would be normally. How strong is this guy, bro? Do I need the napalm bomb to beat him? No, probably not. Right? Right? He can't be that hard. I think my attacks are working. He probably just has a lot of health. Actually, I don't know if anything is working. Bruh! Well, no wonder. It only made the dink sound when I hit his head. Okay. I am hitting his head. Maybe I have to hit him, like, dead on on the forehead. That's the only way that'll work. Holy crap! He's dead! Okay, that's kind of badass, not gonna lie. I don't care as long as I can damage scum him. Okay, it's getting a little close for comfort here. Bruh! Tails is dead! But, why do I want remote bombs? You know what, I should equip the punch, then I can beat him for sure. Oh my god, I hate this thing. Why does he have so much freaking health? And his bombs are so strong. No! This might be my breaking point here. Oh! 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 Two, two rings left! Freaking did it, man! Anti-air missile. That's another thing I can use with the submarine. Okay, let's go back to Poloi Forest. I always forget I have to actually equip the item first. Good call. I think I'll just replace the helmet. Because I don't really need it. I'm gonna stop at like four o'clock.
Damn, bro. My guy has a name Paul Mom. He's insane. Actually, it's Coco Island, but same difference. Spark. Wonder what that does. Well, I guess we can just leave here from the front entrance now. And I wish you could just exit from the pause menu, but like. Whatever, I'm sure they were limited or something. And I don't necessarily mind it, because at least, you know, they have, like, different paths for you to exit the level. Usually, so. Like, whatever. Minor inconvenience. Um, okay, so... I don't know what the spark does. But, I can progress further in that submarine level now, so... Whatever this spark is, I'm sure I'm gonna need it later, so... I only have time for, like, one more level or something. Alright. I gotta equip the... Whatchamacallit first. Oh, the spark's another submarine weapon. Okay, well now I have four of those. Actually, I can probably explore more of that level again, if I want to. Ah, damn it. The, um, one with the rocks and stuff everywhere. But, I'm gonna explore that river first. Actually, no, I'm going to Lake Rocky again. I, because, I don't know. I just have a feeling I'll be able to use these items. Oh, well, the anti-air missile definitely is doing something. Okay, that is a se that is a seizure weapon. I don't like that. Okay, well, I got my below weapon and I got my above weapon. I'll use that shock thing sparingly, because I don't like that. It hurt my eyes a little bit. Damn bro, I got the whole move set right now. Oh, whoa, 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 I wasn't expecting a boss. I mean, what's stopping me from doing this? Actually, wait, I can use my anti-air missiles. Yo! Uh, uh. I like the feeling of discovering stuff in the game, though, even though it's kind of cryptic sometimes. It is cool. Okay, these missiles seem to be doing the trick, bro.
I mean, it's making the hit sound. That's nice. Yeah, so far, other than the one part, I didn't have to use a guide. Oh, I got Green Island now, too. I'm gonna go back to Rocky Cavern because there's more I can do there. I like the replayability of the levels, because there's more to do there after you play it, like... Link Rocky. I know there's more areas with stuff you have to shoot down again, so... I don't know, I'm gonna look around. I don't remember seeing anything on the bottom of the ocean, though. Yeah. You know what, I have an idea. Looking up a level map. Help me, VG Atlas. Okay, we got Dan Gear, Tails. Okay, um. Wow, I'm almost in all the levels of the game already. Okay, Lake Rocky, Area 2. Oh, yeah, this is the area. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep, there's something I can use my down weapon on. If I keep it going. Wait a minute. Okay, wait, I don't think I'm looking at the right map right now. Oh, wait, no, that's the beginning of this area. This, I mean, this is the beginning, so I go this way a bit, and then the area I need to go is right there. What's this way? New area discovered. This is honestly the best Sonic game in the game. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it above Sonic Triple Trouble. I like Triple Trouble, but like. My opinion, it's pretty good. For what it is. 
It exceeded my expectations for sure. I mean, I don't even remember the game being pretty fun as a kid, but... Like, now I get to actually appreciate it, too. Because I can actually play the darn thing now. Oh, I can't break those things. I'll just have to deal with it. Yo, the redness of these thingies is cool. Whoa. Nice looking uh, tile set. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it looks neat. I just think breaking all the blocks. What? What? I didn't know. Oh my god, I didn't realize it got that much rings for me. No! Damn missiles. Okay, I'm gonna have to take it slow. No. 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 I don't like that. I don't like that, sir. Ah! This, this part kind of sucks. Tails. My, my guy, you gotta help me. You gotta not lose so many rings, man. Okay, I'm gonna have to damage to... I have to damage boost to some of it, I think. Because this is not gonna work out! Okay. By the way, man, you should pro um... Since we're watching Dragon Ball, you should probably play... Dragon Ball Advanced Emulate- uh, adva sorry, Advanced... Um... Adventure for the GBA. You probably use an emulator on your phone to play. It's a pretty cool game. I streamed it once, but, um... Yeah, it's a cool game. I should- I should probably play that game again sometime, because I still didn't play Krillin mode yet in that game, and it was like... I beat the game, and it was like, you can now play as Krillin! Like, freaking Mario Galaxy, like, Luigi moment or something, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't notice it was draining so much of my health. You can now play as Luigi. I don't know why, it's just funny because of all the memes. What if you went to heaven? God said, you could now play as Curly. I don't know, it'd be pretty epic if I was Krillin, I'm just saying, man. Like, I may not be the main character, but, like, he has a good life, man. Okay, that kind of sucks. How are they hitting me? That was nowhere near me. Crap. Can I not, like, explore this whole area right now? No. By no accounts does this make sense. Why am I getting hit by this? No. Oh my god, am I- am I- am I screwed here? Wait, anti-air missiles. I could use that. No. Ah, come on. I have a good idea. Let me- let me do this. What? What is this? 
What is the meaning of this? This, this, there's no way to get past with these. Bro, I'm, I'm mad. I probably need a stupid item for this, and I need to know. Unless I need to spam the stupid C3 lightning attack, which, I mean, maybe I... <laughs> Epilepsy warning, I'm sorry in advance. But I think that's what I need to do. Probably. I'll make it up- I'll put a warning in the description. Bro, use the seizure mode attack. Bruh! No! You can't do this! I have no health! Throw some wing rings my way, man. Wait. What? Isn't this... No, this is a new area. They're so fast! Way faster than my... Slow as molasses submarine over here. Yeah, this, I I haven't been here, right? This doesn't. I don't. I don't know. Oh my god! Everything's killing me. Wait, what? Really confused. Oh my god! No. 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 Yes. Clipping TV channels over here. You are screwed on all sides here. What is going on? Oh wait, I probably need the seizure lightning attack. Oh! 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 Okay, I'm sorry. Why does it look like that? Damn it! Okay. Even with the seizure lightning attack, it's still annoying though. It's still annoying as hell. Uh, that's what you're supposed to do, right? I'm pretty sure, I just, I have no health, so it's, like, impossible. Bruh! Wait. No. No, he can't get past. pissed off. Is there truly no way? How come these stupid weapons are able to hit you no matter where you are on the damn map? Are you kidding me? What? There's no way. There's... No, like, what am I supposed to do, though? Am I just... is it over? How... how do I get by? There has to be a way. Wait! Bro! And if you die at all, you're like, screwed. Oh god. And I didn't save, so... Kinda didn't think about that. Uh, um... I'll look up this. Um, I can't look it up either. 
because I'm not... The guy didn't tell me to go this way. This was a horrible idea. Why did I come here? There's, there's gotta be a damn way to avoid this stupid thing. No. No. I can't believe this. Why don't you have life? You just die once and it's game over. Man. I'm gonna have to look up passwords for this or some crap. There's a password gen generator here. Online. Well, I have what kind of tunnel? I have the, uh, Holy Mountain one. I beat the boss. Wait, what the hell? Why is there a Sonic, Knuckles, and Knack the Weasel item? What the heck? Helmet. Um. Frickin' Lar- I'm just gonna make a save here. Remote bomb, napalm, and I can just make the same save file again, but different. I have the green emerald, purple. I think I have the red emerald, I don't remember. Proton, a torpedo. Oh wait, I don't have that. This save generator thing's pretty cool. I don't think there's any way past it, so... Oh, okay, I'll see you later, man. Have a good one. I think I'm just screwed over here, so I'm just gonna leave the level, sadly, but... Green Island? No, I didn't go there yet. If I'm stuck here, and my save is kind of screwed, um... I have one way to go about this. That I could try. Man, never felt so defeated in a Sonic game, man. Enter passwords. Where is the password screen? Is that not in this version? Oh god. I'm so confused, man. the actual regular game has a save option. So what I'm guessing is 
I am screwed, actually. I might have to play the Game Gear version, man. I didn't play in this outright. Oh, wait, no, I have a... I have an idea. I could save this. I may be way earlier in this stupid level, but at least I have a plan now. If I have more rings, I might be able to damage boost later. How is it still hitting me? Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm just angry and losing my voice right now. No, it still hurts you. You're just screwed, I guess. I don't know. How? These dumbass bombs, man. How did I even get past this? Man, I'm just getting angry again. I don't even know how I even made it to begin with. I'm genuinely clueless. The one bad part in this game. The one bad part. You know what? I got lucky. That's how I got past. Without getting hit. As soon as I get over here, I run out of ring. So, it's like no way for me to get by unless I have the rings. That, that's the problem. If I figure out how to make it through with 16 rings, though, I might be able to make it. Heck, if I had 7 rings, that might still be better. I don't know. Oh, okay. I mean, I could cut my losses and, like, go earlier in the level or something. I can't leave. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Yeah, I can. If I leave, I'll, at least I'll be able to save, and uh, my dignity will still be attacked somewhere here. I won't have to play the Game Gear version and get a password. Bro, you were supposed to use the lightning all along? Man, wish I knew that sooner. I had more health back then. No, there's no way. If I can make it out of the level, unscape, without getting hit by the stupid missiles, then that's nice. But if not, um, I don't know, man. I didn't think I'd be so cornered by this game. Damn it. Okay. If I can exit the level, that's fine. I'll try again some other time when I actually need to go to this level. Shoot! 
I have one more hit. I can make it there. Bro, this game... This wobble, who made this? Who thought this was a good idea? And the otherwise genuinely really good Tails game. I have to make one bad level here? One awful, really cringy, bad, terrible level. And you have to use a seizure weapon to even beat. Was it all for naught, my friends? Oh no. It's over. I can't even go back. I thought I could, but I can't. There is no way out. So, the, thought, the option that I thought I could use... Okay, wait. Tails Master System. I'm just gonna look it up. Did they remove the safe feature? Because, I mean, the password. Hmm, maybe there's a password screen. I don't know. I don't know how to get to it. I'll have to ask CF later. Also, I'm probably not even playing the right version, am I? They removed the password system! No! <laughs> no! Why would you do this? I forgot to save the damn game! Okay, that's my fault, but... Damn. Damn. They, why did they do this? There is no way for me to play this game now. If I die, then I'm screwed, because I didn't save. And the only way otherwise is to just make a Game Gear file. Yeah, no. 
Okay, well, I guess next time I play, I'll meet y'all on the Game Gear version, because... You know, it would have been nice if I knew I'd get screwed over so uh, massively in the middle of the game, but, uh, yeah, there's nothing I can really do unless I replay all those levels, which I don't really want to do, so, yeah, next time I'll just load a password. Like, cool that the safe feature is there, but, like, no, don't, don't do that, actually. That level exists and screwed my entire run over, so, um, I'm sorry, but, yeah. Anyway, I'll play in this more some other time, probably, um. Thank you all so much for watching the stream. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow and check out the YouTube channel. Link is on the sidebar. I post a ton of my other stream bots there, including a ton more of Sonic the Hedgehog. Mario content, um, Pikmin 4, Kingdom Hearts, and a ton more. So if that sounds cool, feel free to check it out. Anyway, have yourself a fantastic day and take care. I'll, um, definitely play this again tomorrow, probably. Yeah.